Whatever normal is, not every kid gets his share. Sometimes, well, she gets sick. He's in an accident. Or someone else is born way too soon. This is a story about the normal things. I was at six Just over months. Just six months or something like that, yeah. Went into preterm labor. They ended up doing an emergency C-section. So it was scary for all of us, but he ended up being perfectly healthy, although he was two pounds, 10 ounces, and 14 inches long. Services like this are critical because it's such, it makes such a difference in the lives of these kids and their families. And I think it, it contributes to the quality of life of everybody because it shows the commitment that we make uh, personally and as an institution to taking care of them. I've had, I think, nine or 10 surgeries in all. And I, my first one was when I was four weeks old, I believe. Four hours old. Four hours old. In a sense, the, uh, the health of a community really is reflected in how it cares for its most vulnerable members. St. Joe has committed lots of resources, lots of thought and planning to making sure we become one of the forefront providers of pediatric care to, to kids in the Michiana areas. I was just released from the hospital yesterday. I was in there for a week and then a month before that I was in the hospital for three weeks. So yeah, it's pretty hard but I'm used to it, you know, gotta get through it somehow. I've known Haley her whole life. She's always been a really fiery young lady with lots of energy and pep and enthusiasm and sort of a tax to therapy with a zest that very few kids really do. Um, and she rarely ever complains about her plight in life, although as time has gone on, she's become sicker and sicker. Uh, she spends more and more time in the hospital, missing school. She hardly ever attends school full time anymore. Um, and it's been tough, very tough for her and for her family as well, who have to commit pretty much all their time and energy to take care of her. It gets frustrating sometimes because, you know, they're out and they get to do a lot of normal things like normal teenagers get to do, but um, I miss a lot of school. And I don't really get to go out and do all those kind of things like they do. So, I mean, that's hard, but I mean, I get used to it. The pediatric nurses here, um, as well as uh, Dr. Harris and Dr. Gachelski, develop such a relationship with these children. And when they're here, the nurses, they're like family. Um, I've known the nurses that come in on their days off. You can just tell by the way they, you know, the, the way they interact with them and the way they relate to the families. and. Um, I think it's a real passion for them. After everybody goes home and everybody disappears, you sit there by yourself and you're thinking, is this really happening? I mean, I just, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Daddy just fell apart, didn't he? Because he was so worried about this little boy and his mommy. Pediatrics at St. Joe really is part of the mission of the hospital. It's an asset that uh, has to be protected and, and nurtured, just like any other community asset. Sometimes you can just look at a child and know that this, this one isn't gonna be able to go home tonight. They're gonna have to spend the night in the hospital. I can't imagine working anywhere else that would have this kind of sense and this kind of caring. It's a, it's a good place to get, get well. It's hard to imagine what it really takes to take care of these children, but really, we're very fortunate to have this place here because without a clinic like this, uh, children like, like Haley would have to go to Indianapolis or Chicago uh, to get services or clinics like we have, but even more so, if they had to be hospitalized, they'd be away from friends and family for days or even weeks at a time. But if they're here in the community, then it's an afternoon or a couple hours. Babies are always small and fragile, but when they're born three months early like Kenny, they need highly specialized care. The staff was fantastic. Every single member. This is a bear they gave him in the NICU, and we actually took a picture of him next to the bear, and he was basically the same size as the bear. In the Gospels, uh, Christ went to where the people were, and then he called them to something better. He brought them something uh, 
uh, that was greater than anything they had ever imagined. In a sense, the pediatric clinics uh, did that in a very real way. They brought the medical specialist here to the people's home community. And what does Haley want people to know about the pediatric specialty clinics at St. Joe? You know, they're always here for me, and they're always telling me, you know, you may have this disease, you know, you may have been dealt this hand, but you're really strong, and, and you can get through it, and we're going to be here for you every step of the way. That is the strength of St. Joe Med Center and should be the strength of any healthcare system in general. Not every kid gets their fair share of the normal things in life, whatever those things are. That's why we're here. The Pediatric Services. St. Joseph Regional Medical Center.